Today, everybody, we are over at the world's largest collectible store, Frank and Sons. And we're gonna be going to every single booth that has Funko Pops to see what they've got. So let's get started. First thing I found, guys, is a bunch of Five Nights at Freddy's figures and some that I have never seen before, like Easter Bonnie, and I figured a lot of you guys like Five Nights at Freddy's, so let's take a look at them. I know, I don't even know what to do, guys, because there are so many things here, so I'm just walking around, checking it out, like there's pops behind us, as well as figures over here. It's pretty overwhelming. Oh, also, shout out to Trevor, because it looks like they've got some NECA stuff here, too. I know, it's funny, I've been looking at a lot of stuff that isn't pops, but I should show you guys some that they've got here, like this Diamond Edition Elvira, Stitch, Homer and Hedges, actually a bunch of Entertainment Earth exclusives, including these two brand new ones. Also, guys, in the same booth, way up at the top there, they have the Lego Disney Castle. Now, it's pretty busy over here, but I found a spot with a bunch of Freddy Funkos, and the good news is my camera zooms real close. So if you guys want to check it out, we've got, like, Freddy Funko as Will, as well as, uh, I think that's Steve, and then we've got one from, I don't know, there's a bunch from there, guys, like Superman on the left. It's a pretty cool ones. I know I'm not too into statues, guys, but I figured I might as well show them because they've got a lot of these Spider-Man ones as well as Iron Man, like some really amazing stuff and super detailed as well. Like, come on, you can't tell me that doesn't look like Robert Downey Jr. Well, you know what, guys? These blankets are pretty cute. Wait, wait a second. Oh. Found some tiny ghosts as well as Funko Force up here. And then if you look at the back, guys, they've got the Ugly Dolls blocks. That was exclusive to, I believe, San Diego Comic-Con. Kind of a weird thing to find. Now, guys, coming up on the next pop booth here, it looks like they've got a bunch in the cabinets. And now here We've got Jeremy Lin, Batman, Super oh no, 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 it's Unmasked Captain America, sorry. I can't tell them apart. And then as we keep going, guys, we've got a bunch of like these zombie Morbius, which would be kind of a funny one to get. Ah, I probably won't though today. We've also got like Loki, as well as this one here, actually. If I could find that entire box here, that could be kind of interesting. It was part of the Marvel Collector Core, and I wanted the other figure that also came along with it, so that could be neat. And then over in this section, guys, it seems to be a lot of horror. Yeah, it looks like it. Then also, oh, Plants vs. Zombies in the back there. Now these ones, I think the only one I've seen recently is Conehead Zombies, so to see those two, it's pretty cool. Now guys, I thought it was just the outside of the booth, but I Apparently, it is the entire inside as well. I'm not gonna be able to go through everything, but there's some crazy stuff here. Like this Disney cabinet here, and there's some pretty amazing stuff, like the Sorcerer Mickey. Actually, a lot of the original box ones, too, like that red category. I don't even know what you call it. Like, I think it was series two or three, something like that. But just taking a look through here, guys, there is some amazing figures. Oh, and then one that always surprises me is this Vanellope down here, because it looks fake. Actually, pretty much the entire set doesn't even look like Pops. Also, shout out to Rye the Pop Guy, because he's been watching a lot of Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul recently and it looks like there is most, if not all of them here. Now it looks like we are coming over to animation. It looks like there is a lot of pops here. And now because of San Diego Comic-Con, it seems like the glass cases are a little bit picked over because they've of course brought them there, but there's still some really neat stuff like Hot Topic Guy. I remember when this one first released as well as Venom. We've got some of the Hunger Game ones, Robocop, Jolly Roger. That one's pretty interesting as well as Blushing Bemo. Like a lot of really interesting characters. Oh, and one that kind of stood out to me was the Murloc down here from World of Warcraft, where it's like completely clear. It's pretty interesting. And a pretty cool guys, because inside of this booth, we are seeing the first ever, at least the first ever on the channel, special edition sticker. Let me see if I can zoom in on that so you guys can see it a little bit better. Because normally, it would be this one here, this kind of like silver and red color. There we go guys, right there, that one. But it looks like the new one, they're actually swapping it over to be like this, and I don't know, I'm enjoying the new one a lot more. Now this is something kind of interesting, guys. The Gabriel Fluffy Iglesias, it looks to be the Halloween version. It's a custom one done by Funko Boss. And if you guys want to see it, there it is. I'm loving this thing, especially because it is signed by Gabriel Iglesias. You know, funny enough, guys, in this booth, I totally passed by the massive Batman. And if you guys want to see pretty much the entire thing, I'll back up for you. But uh, yeah, this is what it's looking like. Found another cabinet, of course, with a bunch of figures. The first thing I saw here was the Murloc 3-pack. I don't think it was limited to anything. It was just kind of like exclusive to Comic-Con. And then down at the bottom here, check this one out, guys. The Freddy Hikari limited to 250 pieces. That's it. it. I love it. Another pretty interesting thing that I'm sure you haven't seen before we We've got the Golden Sleestack as well as HR Puffin stuff, both signed by Sid and Marty Croft. 
Now everybody, we've ran into a big Funko booth here. It's gonna be hard to show everything. I'm gonna try my best. You guys can see over this way as well as, you ready for this? The wall of figures they've got. And it seems like it's just a bunch of newer things. So I'm gonna to try to point out the interesting stuff that I see because you can't go through everything here. And one thing I did wanna look for actually in this pile was Noah was on the hunt for fourth gear Luffy, the Chalice Collectibles exclusive, I believe. And I'm not seeing any in this pile here, but I will definitely be digging around for one. Now, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see this. I wanted to show it off earlier, but there was some uh, <clears throat> different Pokemon covering it. If you guys look back there, the entire Simpsons sitting on a couch, it's pretty funny. Here's the first Wacky Wobblers of the day, guys. We've got Mr. Bill, Cat in the Hat, and the Grinch. What do we have down here, guys? Alex Armstrong with the glitter in the signature? Come on. As well as actually a bunch of other figures. You've got like some of the ones from Masters of the Universe. We've got One Piece, Avatar, Cursed Barbosa with the cursed little monkey. I, I know it's hard to see. Let me see if I can get down there. Yeah, you can kind of see them. And then the other side of the booth has these figures over here. Let me know what you would have picked up. Now, guys, I was doing a bit of walking and I ran into a fan of the channel. David and th he's actually brought a gift for me. Yeah. So uh, thank you so much yeah, for this. Yeah. Thank you. I'm here um, sharing uh, my thoughts that you were here in California. Yeah, yeah. It's my pleasure to meet you the first time I never met you. Yeah. So I'm, I'm a big fan of you. And, thank you. And I'm hoping to see you again in the future. For sure. And uh, um, I hope you like this present. No. And um, enjoy your trip. Thank you. To Comic Con or San yeah. Diego and have fun. Are you going to Comic Con? No, no. So, okay. So I'm probably going now, maybe in the future. Yeah, for sure. It sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun too this year. Cool. Thank you. Now, guys, I didn't actually know this, but apparently Chalice Collectibles also has a booth here, and we're going to be looking around for a bit because they have a lot of exclusives, and for some of these ones, it's the first time I've ever seen them, like Lady Loki as well as... There was another one here too. Where did it go? Uh, this one from Avatar, and then I lost it. Where'd it go? Aha, you got up here. That one's really sick. Oh, and they also have some of the brand new SDCC ones. The one that I found here is America Chavez. I love her with the star in the back. I might have to get her, but there's so many things to look at. I'm still debating on it. And now if you guys want to take a look at the rest of the SDCC ones that they've got here, like the supersonic first appearance, this is one that I am 1,000% going to be grabbing. I'm not skipping on this thing. And then if you guys want to see the rest of them, they've got like Scarlet Scarab, Silk, Hugsy the Penguin from friends, Starfire, Bambi, as well as a bunch of other ones. And I might grab Cassie and Andor as well, just because this is like a first like appearance, I guess you could say, for the new show coming. It could be a good one to have. And then over in this section, guys, it looks like they've got some like Spider-Man ones, as well as just like $15 figures, like this glow in the dark core. And it's actually the first time I've ever seen this one, as well as Homer and Hedges, which we see all the time, Tanjiro, Stitch, Diamond Edition, Undertaker, which is a really cool one, as well as J. Jonah Jameson. And this one here, an Entertainment Earth exclusive, I think it is, again, I don't know, guys, I'm seeing a lot of them for the first time today. And then over here, guys, is their Marvel section where they've got a lot of the newer Doctor Strange ones as well as some of the Moon Knight which is kind of picked over but they do have Mr. Knight and then that actually might be the only one that they've got but they also have Loki some of the Thor Love and Thunder and I know what you guys are going to say I should get Valkyrie but I don't have any way to bring her home I mean here's the thing I'm saving them for like cool like you know more expensive figures because we are in California so to get a common one I'm probably going to wait on it also in the Chalice booth they have a plethora of cans and this is actually the first time I've ever seen I believe it's a Silent Bob down here as well as this one let me see what I can show you guys yes Samurai Jack, that's a nice one. And then if you look down the line, yeah, there is a lot. Oh, also George Jetson. I did order a couple of these for myself, so I'm not gonna grab one today, but that's a really cool one to see. Oh, would you look at this, guys? Eddie from Stranger Things for, how much is that, $160? Yeah, no, thank you. Oh, and now check out down here in this cabinet, guys. They've got some pretty interesting ones like General Grievous, a couple of Chases, Robin Hood for only 50 bucks, as well as Sir Hiss. We've got Santa Claus for 45. Like some not bad stuff with some pretty decent prices. Oh, and then also this one down here, guys. I'm not gonna say the name, but that kind of an interesting one. Guys, I may or may not have came across another Funko booth. I think you could tell from the figures behind me, but I'm gonna be digging through here for a little bit as well, and it looks like it goes well all the way down. Oh, now, funny enough, right away, here is a figure that I do not have for my Lilo and Stitch collection, Stitch with frog on his head. Ran into this one over here, guys, the Padme Amidala with the Power of the Galaxy sticker. It's got the special edition one, and it doesn't have the Amazon. It's still cool to see. And then down here, we've got like LeBron James, as well as a bunch of black light figures. And then over here, the bloody version of Leprechaun. Kind of a weird one, but I've never seen it, so I figured I might as well show it. Actually, as well as, is this just Chuckles? Yeah, Chuckles from Trick or Treat. Now, guys, I found another booth with a bunch of San Diego Comic-Con exclusives. Like, I mean a lot of them. And there's one that I'm gonna be grabbing here today, 
I decided to go with the Supersonic. I feel like it was a good choice. I know literally guys, the next booth over, I see a planet Arlea Vegeta hidden in the back there. You gotta show it off when you see it. Oh, and then I didn't even notice guys, right above it, they also have the, it's gonna be hard to see, but the D23 Mandalorian. Oh, come on, that's cool. Up at the front here guys, they have this huge Seinfeld cabinet full of a bunch of Funko stuff, as well as just a bunch of other random things as well, like this signed Yev Kassem. I wonder if they got this over at uh, Funko Hollywood. So I know we did do a signing there a little while ago. Behind this booth, they've got a bunch of signed figures, and I think Gear, no pun intended, I might as well show them off. And I'm noticing a lot of signed Post Malone ones, and I heard that he does come here pretty often, so it makes sense why they'd have a couple of them. And it looks like every single different Post Malone one is signed, as well as like a Lucha Fluffy, like a lot of really cool ones. And anyway, guys, they also let me into the side of the booth here, so if you guys wanna check out all of these ones, there is a lot of other stuff. I mean, come on, these are sick. Found this other booth here, guys, with a bunch of soda chases, but then also over here, guys, we have some soda chases, as well as APs, which is artist proofs. And if you guys wanna check it out, that is the Count Chocula Chase Artist Proof, and then a little bit lower, I believe this is the normal Twinkie the Kid prototype, and then if you look over here, there is a bunch more, and it looks like this one here, yeah, is the die-cast prototype. I have never seen one of those before. And anyway, I was kind of quietly looking for the most expensive figure at Frank and Sons, and I think we ran into it here, guys, the Flock Chewbacca for 3,500, or maybe it was the Planet Arlea Vegeta more expensive earlier. I'm not exactly sure, but I've been trying to show up the most expensive ones, and I definitely had to show off these guys because they are some crazy ones. They're not the most expensive, but I figured I might as well show it. Freddy Funko as Kylo Ren. Now, guys, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know what's cooler in this corner over here. We've got Jeffrey sitting here, the R from Toys R Us, or way up here, guys, a giant Count Chocula Wacky Wobbler. Oh, no, 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 never mind. This takes the cake. There's an owl. Now, I didn't know this, guys, but apparently Fugitive Toys has a booth here as well, and I actually know they say that I'm inside of it. And now, what I'm really enjoying is it almost looks like we're at Comic-Con with the way they've got them in the cabinets here. And then over on the opposite side, they've got a bunch of stitches figures and I think the only one I'm missing out of here is maybe the diamond one as well as Santa and then Alola and then Stitch and then uh, Diamond Stitch. I'm missing most of them. Also I can't get much closer but check out the amount of sodas they've got. It's a lot of them. On my way out of the booth guys I noticed up at the top they've got some of the Emerald City Comic Con stuff. Let me get a little closer there. We've got like the dorms as well as the smaller version of the peanuts and then over there they've also got the Vault Boy which is pretty interesting. I haven't seen that one in a while. And now everybody, with that being said, I think that's pretty much it for Frank and Sons. I went through every single aisle, checked every single booth that had pops as well as other things. So I guess let's go back to the hotel. So that was Frank and Sons, and it was seriously one of the craziest places I've ever been to for Pops. And I also found out that they're not just open like every once in a while, it's every Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday, so you could go there every week three times? So if you live in the area, I definitely recommend it. And also, some of you guys are probably noticing, yes, I am back home. The problem was, I had so many great videos that I filmed in California, but didn't do like enough wrap-ups for them in the hotel, so we're gonna be doing the rest of them here back at the house. And so now, guys, I guess let's go through everything that I picked up, which wasn't much, but it was some interesting stuff. With the only Funko Pop that I picked up being this here, guys. They had Supersonic first appearance, and I believe I got him for $35, so nothing too crazy, especially because he's selling out pretty much everywhere. And if you've been watching my other California videos, you would know that I did pick up one of these over at the con, but I knew Noah or my friend Alejandro would probably want one of these, so I decided to go for a second one at not a bad deal. And also, if you've ever seen the Super Shadow, you would know that that one is the most expensive Sonic figure, sitting at around, like, I think it's $1,000 or $1,100, something crazy like that. So I definitely did not want to miss out on this one. And now here's the thing. I don't think it's going to be getting that expensive, but I also wanted to pick it up right away, just in case something like that happened, where maybe it goes to, like, two or $300. That way I can get it for, like, a pretty reasonable deal. Oh, and also, something that I really liked is that they put this into the anniversary set. So on the back here, it's got the classic Sonic, as well as Silver, two of my favorites. And now Sonic does glow in the dark, so I figured I might as well show you guys what he looks like. And in person, he looks amazing. And now on camera, oh my gosh, this thing's amazing. Like seriously guys, this is a super Sonic. And then the other thing that I got was a soda. And this year was actually a brand new Luke Skywalker that I've been looking for for a little while. I was actually gonna be saving all of these to do a big Star Wars video, but I figured I only got one of them. I don't have two, so let's crack this thing open today. And also, I think this was like maybe like 10 or 15 bucks, so nothing too crazy. Especially because a lot of the Star Wars ones have been selling out. So let's open this thing up and find out if we got the common because that's all I need. I already got him with his hand cut off. All I need is now him with a lightsaber. And here we go. Did we get the lightsaber? Did we get the lightsaber? Please be the lightsaber. It is, yes, it is. 
Okay, there we go, guys. And now, if you want to check out what Luke is looking like, here he is. And I am really enjoying the lightsaber in the front. And I feel like this one here, the common one, is a little bit better than the chase, but I do enjoy both. And now, here's the thing. I can never complain about getting a chase, but I do really enjoy the lightsaber and how it's clear on the actual blade. It looks great. Like, Funko does a really great job with the lightsabers. And now, if you guys want to see what this one is limited to, let me check really quickly. Okay, this one here is Luke Skywalker limited to one out of 6,700. And if you guys want to see what he looks like on the Pog, here is. And now if you're curious why I didn't pick up more because there was a lot of really great stuff there like I probably would have picked up maybe like 10 or 15 things if it was closer was literally chalked up to space. Because there was a lot of great stuff there but because of all the Comic Con stuff I had picked up I couldn't really grab much so I grabbed the stuff that I really really wanted. And now even though I didn't pick up any more there was somebody that had gifted me something while I was there. David. He was actually a fan of the channel and he gifted me two things. One of them being this really sick fanny pack as well as because it was my birthday recently a birthday Freddy Fox. Funko. And so, David, if you're watching, thank you so much for both of these. And if you were anybody that actually said hi over at Frankenstein's, thanks so much for doing it. And now, of course, we've got to take the Happy Birthday Freddy out of the box because this is actually the first time I have ever seen it in person. So let's see what's going on with this guy because he's got the balloon in his hand as well as a present. He's a pretty interesting one. And if you guys want to see him a little bit closer up, well, here he is. Oh, and then also on the back of the box, I didn't even notice this. It says Happy Birthday Freddy. So is my birthday pretty similar to Freddy's? I think so. And so now everybody, Let's check out this birthday Freddy. And I'm a little bit worried that he's not gonna stand because of the balloon. So I wanna try that really quickly. Ah, uh, not too bad. And yeah, I am really enjoying this one. I actually have the original birthday Freddy in my collection where he's holding a present in his hand. He doesn't have a balloon and I might have a birthday hat on. I'm not 100% sure. I would have to check. Actually, he's probably somewhere in here. Let me grab him. All right, everybody, I found him. And this one here is from 2016, so a long time ago. And I remember when this one first released or maybe it was a little bit later on. Anyways, my mom had picked one up for me and uh, if you guys want to check them out there is some pretty interesting stuff going on with this one so it seems like Funko didn't actually change the head for this I thought he was wearing a birthday hat but he isn't he just has the normal crown on and then he's holding a giant box that says happy birthday so maybe the body is the exact same the only thing they switched is the arms but either way it's still a really cool figure and I'm glad that I have both of them now and so anyways, guys, there you go. That is everything for today. And I hope that you guys did enjoy Frank and Sons because I definitely did for my first time ever. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. But this has been the episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Shut up, shut up. Big deal like TJ Maxx. Bought some cataracts. Watching Naughty.